fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the January issue of Telebicoon Magazine because it comes with the DX Deno Belt Raise Buckle for Common Rider Geats. So as you can see, mine got here a little worse for wear. I got this from Amazon Japan and when it got here the box was quite smushed. Uh, but I believe the contents inside are okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side for the moment so we can take a look at the magazine. There's actually a lot of cool stuff in here. So you can see right here on the cover, you have the Deno Belt Raise Buckle featured very prominently. We have Geats here with the Command Twin Raise Buckle, which we've seen on the show. Uh, let's get into this. So we do have this kind of fold out here showing us more about command form. Spin around to this side, shows the Raising Sword. All that good stuff. Again, we've already seen that and I've already reviewed it, so feel free to check out my review for the Raising Sword and Command Twin Raise Buckle. It was a good one. Uh, but yeah, we just have a lot of cool stuff in here. So we can see here is Tycoon using it. Here is Kamen Rider Glare, which we've also just seen on the show last week. It was just revealed for the first time. Very cool. Really like this suit quite a bit. Oh, you do see uh, two people down here being controlled they have those same kind of head pieces that he put on punk jack i'm not quite sure exactly who those two are supposed to be but i would assume it is uh neon's bodyguards uh here is the uh, fever slot raise buckle some more pics of that we've seen that on the show as well some more stuff going on here this is what i really like so this is kind of like a cool little checklist of all the different uh legend rider buckles but also, let me zoom in here a little bit, it shows you the forms, which is something that we really hadn't seen much of. Like, O's looks really good. Uh, there's Forze. Drive looks really cool. I really like Builds. I think Builds looks really good. <clears throat> Down here, Doubles looks pretty good. Wizard, alright. Ghost. Here is Saber. Zero One. Geo. I really like Demons, too. Demons looks really cool. There is Live. Revice. I believe we've seen that before. Janu. And then we got more over here. So we got Deno. We got Blade. We got Kuga. Agito. Hibikis looks pretty cool as well. Kiva. I like, I like uh, Decades as well. That looks pretty great, especially with the green eyes. Oh, Kabuto's looks good, too. And then there's Fies. And then here are the three that come in that three-pack. So we have Black RX. Or no, that's just Black. I'm sorry. That's just Black. V3. And then, of course, Ichigo. So I think that's really, really cool. Oh, here's Ryuki, too. Ryuki is coming in a, a magazine very soon. So this is cool. I like this. I like when they do these kind of things. One, it's a nice, easy way to kind of keep a checklist of ones you have. But also, we get to see all those forms that will probably never show up in anything else. And then we got Soto in the mix. That's right. ID3 getting shown off. All kinds of good stuff for Soto. Gotta love Soto. Here again, just the toy for the uh, Command Twin Buckle and Raising Sword. And then it also talks about the campaign for Tycoon's Core ID. Got some Gomberizing cards. Not really quite sure what's going on here. Uh, this little kid in a cardboard Geats. I'm assuming that's from a magazine at some point. Now we're getting into some Sentai stuff. We've seen most of this on the show already. This is a little bit old news. Although one thing that I thought was neat, and I'm sure this has been around, but I have never seen this before. And it looks like maybe it's Natsumi transforming, which is really cool. I don't know that for sure, but her head's down there. So I don't think we've seen this on the show yet. I could be wrong. But he's pretty cool. Or she, rather. Uh, here is Dawn Killer. We've definitely seen that. Here is the Santa picture. We've seen that before, too. That's been shown uh, before. This is just talking about the magazine. Got some Job Braver stuff going on down here. Oh, so there's actually two of these. I think I have this one pre-ordered. I don't know if I have this one pre-ordered, but it looks like a pretty simple repaint. But those look really good. I have really fallen off on the Job Braver reviews, and I apologize. I'm trying to get caught up on everything. They will eventually come back. 
So if you are excited for Job Braver, please hang in there. We got some Pokemon stuff. I don't really care about Pokemon, so I'm sorry. I'm going to skip through this pretty quick. And then this looks like some manga here. That technically could double as a coloring book, I'm just saying. Got a maze. What else we got? Connect the dots. This is probably definitely for a coloring book. So they got all kinds of stuff in here. Ma more mazes. Oh, now we're on to Ultraman. Had a brief puzzle interlude. Now we are back to some Toku stuff. So this was, I think, episode 19 where he teamed up with Trigger. And they're fighting on the moon. The Mark II there. It was a decent episode. I'm a little behind on Decker, but I just watched... I think I just watched 20 today. This looks like some Godzilla stuff over here. Keeping with the giant kaiju theme. Okay, Shinkalion still in the mix. Oh, we got an Ava Zero Two Shinkalion. That's new. They've done Zero One several times, but I think this is the first time referencing Zero Two. That's actually pretty cool. I might have to look into that. I've also really fallen behind on Shinkalion. Uh, it just got to the point where they all were just kind of the same thing, and I just had other things I needed to get. But up oh, here we go. Here's our King Oger tease. A little silhouettes down there. Almost time for some new Sentai to be revealed to us. And this is all just toys and whatnot here. Dude, I need that Raptor mouse. That's pretty fantastic. <laughs> That's great. And then I think we have some uh, drawing submissions. And I think this is like solutions to the puzzles and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. And then again, just more geats toys on the back so pretty cool magazine though there's a lot of stuff in here i know some of it got shown before and some of it we've already seen on the show but there were a couple things in there that i hadn't seen before i especially love the checklist with all the legend rider buckles and it shows the form for each one that he would theoretically have because again i don't think we're going to see them on the show i don't even think soto will come close to getting to any of those Maybe he uses the Revice one in the movie. That's my guess. Uh, maybe Soto does that one because it gets used in the movie. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's like another magazine exclusive form or something like that. So, yeah. But anyway, really cool magazine. But let's go ahead. Let's check out that raise buckle. So here we go. Here is the DX Deno Belt raise buckle. Uh, with a quite smashed up box, so we'll just go ahead and open this since it's basically falling apart as we speak. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it's you got Deno here, you got the raised buckle, you got Geats. I feel like this would have been a good opportunity to put Geats in the Deno form, but, you know, it is what it is. So we'll put that there. Here is the raised buckle. Let's go ahead and get it out of this bag if I can figure out. Here we go. I was like, where is the piece of tape? There we go. Put all this off to the side. Very cool. I'm liking this quite a bit. It's very stark white uh, with red, which makes sense. I mean, that's obviously Deno's color scheme, but very cool. Belt looks fantastic. You can spin it around, of course, so you can connect it to either side of the driver. And all of the Legend Riders have the same kind of oval pattern or, you know, circle, oval, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? shape i guess <laughs> i was gonna say design i think is what i was looking for they all have the same oval piece of plastic with the belt inside and you just press that down to activate it and then here is the qr code and this is number 41. so pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and bring in the desire driver so we can get to some sounds all right let's go ahead and pop it on I just love the way it says Den O Belt. So there you go. That's pretty much it for that, but really great sound effects. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pair it up with some others. Of course, we'll do Boost first. Oh, my God. 
And then just for fun, I thought we'd pair it with Magnum because the color schemes are kind of similar. And even though we almost certainly know the outcome, I'm going to go ahead and try it with the Magnum Shooter 40X. Yep, just like all the others. So I think this is a really fun release. I've been having a good time collecting all of the Legend Rider Rays buckles, and this one, of course, is a great addition to the collection. I think it's funny, I was thinking about it, Denno always seems to get packed with the magazine. Now, I know technically last year with Revice, he was just a normal DX release, but with the Wonder Ride book for Denno, that was also packed with the magazine, so I don't know why Denno always gets stuck with the magazine. But in this case, the magazine's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of great pictures in there. Most of the stuff we've seen before either just kind of leaked early or actually have already appeared in the show. But there's actually some stuff in there I'd never seen before, and there's a really nice checklist of all the different Legend Rider Rays buckles, as well as the pictures of all the forms, so I think that's really cool because those probably won't show up anywhere else, but it's great. I think this one's great. I got it from Amazon Japan. I uh, definitely recommend picking it up. It might still be available. I believe it came out somewhat recently, uh, but that's kind of where I usually grab my, my items that come with the magazine. Amazon Japan usually works out pretty well, so I definitely recommend adding this one to the collection. If you can find it for a reasonable price, it shouldn't be too bad. If it's sold out on Amazon Japan, you could always try Toe Collectibles, or you could try the secondary market like Mandarake, Yahoo Japan Auctions, things like that. So definitely recommend picking this one up, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.